Okay, Gilly's being a naughty boy, so he's outside in the cage. I've just come into the aviary. We play a lot now, one-on-one -on -one with Sippy. She's mellowed a lot over the last few months since we got her. She also loves her one-on-one -on -one attention. I'm not sure if this is going to come out because the lighting in here is atrocious. In the afternoon, so we'll, there she comes. Now she's coming over. She wants attention too. She, yes, she's really nibbling. She's not biting. That's, there's no force behind that, but that's her way of saying, "Give me some attention." She's a real cute little bird. As I've said in one of the other videos, she's about two thirds the size of Gilly. But you know, we can you can see what she's doing. She's not hurting me at all. She's cleaning my fingernails. But she just loves attention as well. Now, when we got her, how long we had her? About six months? Five or six months ago, neither of us could get near her. Slowly over time, she's allowed us to get closer to her. I mean, she'll still have a go at us. Yeah, she's making noises because some of the wild corellas are flying by. She's still a much wilder bird than uh, Gilly is. Gilly's much more domesticated, but that's how we got him. He was much more domesticated. And I think you could see from the other video, uh, he just loves attention. This one, she likes attention, no question about it, but she's also quite uh, partial to all the wild corellas that come by. And when she goes off in a full voice, you can hear it a mile away. Hey, Tip, look at that, look at that claw. Hey, Tip, Tip, Tippy. Preening time. Okay, bye bye, Tippy. Her, her markings are much more pronounced than Gilly's. Yeah, she's the older woman in the relationship. I don't think Gilly and her are really going to mate. We didn't get her for mateship, we got her just for companionship, but Gilly much prefers to be with us. Evelyn has to teach him what to do with a woman. Okay, Tip Tip. Bye-bye.